I'm a Shawnee, Muskogee Creek, and Choctaw uh, man from Genesee, California. My dad's been telling me since I could walk, I've always been dribbling a basketball and um, or it was football at the time too, throwing a football back and forth with them. So sports was something that was definitely a big part of my life growing up and it helped develop my identity. Where, where I lived, there was no pavement for me to play on. So we threw a rug down out on the dirt court and put a hoop on and it was at the top of a hill. So I better make all my shots because if I missed it, I'd have to go run down the hill and go get the ball. So stuff like that is stuff that helped, uh, I, I'd say it built character. Growing up as a kid, um, there were some other minorities, but I was strong in, in my culture and I didn't feel a connection with anybody else. Um, and the native community wasn't very unified, at least how I felt about it. So it was a predominantly white school and I felt very like ostracized and different from all the kids because I had long hair at the time or longer hair. And uh, it definitely like, it definitely created a, a separation between me and some of the other students. And I noticed that and there was a lot of other things that as I, get, as I grew older, I knew that it was like racist remarks that were made to me, but as a kid, I wasn't aware of it. It just, it was one thing after the another, after another, and I just, I thought that this wasn't the place that I needed to be at in Greenville, California. So I up and left to uh, Reno, Nevada. And it was definitely a big change. And I was fully aware that racism isn't something that just, um, you can leave away from it. It's going you're gonna find it everywhere. However, when it's in a smaller town, it's more centralized and it's more direct with you. And I felt that moving out and getting a bigger exposure for not only getting away from those instances, but also getting in contact and being around a bigger uh, basketball community would help me in furthering my career as a basketball player. Coach Kip was always uh, great to talk to, extremely approachable, and he um, definitely made me feel at home here and made me feel like this was a place that I wanted to be. And all those type of um, connections is what made me feel at home at Willamette University because of how they created an environment that wasn't like intimidating or any type of way, it was very welcoming. So this season, we've had an incredible chemistry with our team. Um, and I believe it starts with the recruiting process. We recruit guys who fit our ideals and goals. We don't recruit people who we believe um, would not carry out how we um, go about our teachings. So for example, we have something called character development, and it's all about realizing the the things that men can do to be better. So we want to get men that um, really sh would show that role. We don't want anybody that would be disrespectful to our program and what we stand for. Basketball pretty much has been what my mind's been set to. I love the sport and I plan to play it as long as I can. I'm always working hard to get um, improve as much as I can. So this is for sure what I've wanted to do. And Willamette is I knew that was the place for me the moment I came and visited and met the guys and the family. It was something that I almost did not have to question. It was a pretty easy decision. Oregon has a really great native community across the whole state. So I always could tell that this is where I always wanted to go to college because especially of the powwows and the different ceremonies they have up here. There is a powwow at Willamette, so that's another aspect that's great and keeps me connected with the community. But the state itself of Oregon has such a beautiful connection with its, uh, with its history. And my parents did a really good job at um, creating a nice separation between ceremonies, um, social life, and uh, basketball. So that separation gives me time when I'm in a ceremony and stuff. All I'm thinking about is um, what we do in that ceremony or when I'm at a powwow. It's having a good time at the powwow and dancing. And then when I'm playing basketball, it's all about basketball. And I hold those traditions that I have with the ceremony because that's who I am at my core. I hold those throughout every aspect of my life. So that's something that has um, blossomed. I was blessed to be born into a family with someone like my dad. He was like my mentor and I was his apprentice. And I would sit through the songs. I learned all the songs and um, just the experience of seeing my dad, how he dealt with different things was extremely uh, important because now I know now how to handle different scenarios and people with different types of um, health problems and psychological problems. We, our native traditions have different ways than like the typical clinical ways of going about it. So it definitely gave me, a, I think, a broader perspective on life.
Powwow dancing is very important to me. I love going to powwows and dancing. That's more of a, there's ceremonial aspects of powwows, but it's for sure a huge social um, event of inner tribals. So it's not also not just native people. Um, people of any race can come and participate in the powwow. And it's a huge uh, social gathering. We saw a statistic about how many native languages go. I believe it wasn't even every day, it was like every hour. And it's crazy, the amount of, um, traditions that are lost in that hour just in that language alone so i i see it as very important to learn the language to all native people out there they need to learn the language because it goes and it goes quickly these bands are warrior society tattoos they're given to warriors and people and i've earned them through many of the things i've learned and being in um, being in ceremonies and understanding ceremonies learning the songs in the language um, and that's when i was 15 i got this tattoo on both sides and their warrior tattoos. This is a, a thunderbird with the uh, lightning to signif signify that. My tattoos equal on both sides as well as like an equilibrium to equal, um, I believe as a person, like keeping yourself equal. And I have an eagle feather and a hawk feather on both sides. My native name or my real name is Upitieo Chaban, which means shadow hawk boy. And uh, my, my other name, my uh, colonized name is Justice Eagle Smith. Now, the, that's what the hawk feather represents is my native name, and the eagle feather represents Eagle Smith for who I am, and they're bundled together to represent who I am. And then, like I said, they're both on both sides to represent an equal body, an equal mind. I'm a native man at heart. However, my interests are always gonna change. For example, right now I'm focusing on basketball, but the ball stops dribbling for everybody at some point. So I'm gonna go from basketball, and for right now I believe the next point of my life is gonna be business. So things are going to change. They're gonna be fluid. However, what's gonna remain the same is who I am at heart.